Last Friday night, I invited six of my friends to play a goofy one-off session of Pathfinder. When everyone arrived, I gave them a simple map and told them each to make a level 1 commoner. What followed was one of the weirdest and funniest Pathfinder games we've ever had. We left the rails pretty quickly and never looked back. For those who want to see the table of random magical effects I used, visit Traken.com. For those who want to complain about use magic device yes, I intentionally ignored the skill rules and made the ones point and click to use. Our commoner cast. Korgrok, Half Orc Woodchopper, Jean Chaucer, Human Hunter, Gemnes, Dwarf Blacksmith, Torin, Human Shopkeeper, Philibert, Human Farmer, Anya, Half Elf 12 Year Old Orphan. Players are at Orahir's annual harvest festival. Basically the only time the village get visitors. See amazing juggler who can juggle three balls. See vegetable stalls and are exotic traveling merchants. See aging dwarf Marco Rock Hammersk mid sitting atop his wagon, smoking halfling tobacco. The sign on the cart reads Cern Gold Quick, Adventurers Wanted. Ask Markle about sign. Markle explains that he has been contracted to test wands of magic missile. Markle opens the barrels. The barrels are filled with sticks. 300 of them. Markle explains each one is a wand that has a consistent quirk. The wands will always fire magic missile, but the quirk will happen as well. His job is to test all of the wands to find out the quirks. Markle promises them 1000 gold each if they test all of the wands. Most of the players are skeptical, having never seen a gold piece in their life. However, Greed eventually convinces them that this would be an amazing opportunity, as they wouldn't have to work for years and would become the richest people in Aura here. Ask Markle how to use the wands. It's very simple. Let me demonstrate. Everybody watch closely. Markle grabs a random wand from the barrel and shoots at a bird. Bird explodes. D10,000 random result. All who see Caster believe him to be a criminal. Stop right there, criminal scum. Markle is seized by the entire village of Orahir and run out of town on a rail. No one can really explain why he is a criminal, but everyone agrees on it. Mayor Lewis Butterfield agrees that the six players can take the wagon and barrels since they found the criminal first. Anya steals some ones when people are not looking. We needed to take a short break since we were laughing too hard to speak. I also needed to improvise a new plot hook, since the primary quest Jiva has become a criminal in the eyes of the players and the entire village. Searching the wagons they find two papers. First is the contract for testing the magic wands. The players definitely know Markle as a criminal, but the wizard in the contract seems legit. Second is a wanted poster for hunting gnolls in the knoll woods. Corgra- wait wait wait, we, could, um, could, both are. Anya hides under wagon while Corgrok struggles with his idea of doing both jobs at once. Anya's player was not listening when Markle said they were all wands of magic missile. She just thinks they do random magical effects. Anya points wand at nearest sheep and fires. Sheep's head explode. Anya is also now immune to piercing damage but does not know it. Mass panic. Villagers running away with livestock. Mer Butterfield tells them they need to leave now. You've ruined the harvest festival. After a heated discussion about the difference between wagons and carts and where someone can actually sit on them, the PCS decide to head for the Knoll Woods for the bounty. Half of them forget to bring any supplies, so they had to ride all the way back to Torin's general store and grab some items. By the time they get to Knoll Woods, it is dark. Korgrok can't stop saying we're adventurers. First watch, they spot their first Knoll. Philibert uses a wand to shoot the Knoll. D10,000 random result. Philibert's left hand now has steel fingers. Philibert starts panicking. Korgrok uses a wand to shoot the Knoll. D10,000 random result. Players get increasingly worried as I raise the board, move all of the players and the horse and the knoll to new positions, and then fill the board with more models. Teleport all living creatures within 60 yards to the nearest temple. PCS and knoll are panicked at suddenly being in the middle of an evening mass. Horses standing on top of an altar to Pella. Villagers are screaming. The priest drops to his knees and starts praying for divine intervention. They finish the knoll off with a crossbow. Villagers run into the streets. Anya steals golden candlesticks in the confusion. Korgrok handles animal to calm the horse. Players run out into the street. The guard stops them. Anya bluffs that there are goblins in the church. Succeed at bluff. Quietly run leave town. The players determine they were in the village of Big Church, since it is the only village nearby with a stone church. They skipped completely past the Knoll Woods, past Orathir and over the river. They also left their wagon, supplies and an unattended fire. 
They become extremely worried that the Nulls will get a hold of the barrel full of wands and start running amok giving the DM some great ideas. Players hire Stanton Riverman, a ferryman, to get them across the river. Stanton is initially crabby at being woken, but when they offer to pay him a gold, he becomes ecstatic. Slightly more than halfway across the river, Anya becomes bored. Anya shoots a new wand at a fish in the river, d10,000 random result. Nearest building is inverted. Hear the horrible noise of hundreds of boards creaking and snapping at once from the other side of the river. Stanton notices his grandmother now knitting outside of her house, looking very confused. Stanton angrily accuses Anya of witchcraft. Party successfully bluffs that they had nothing to do with the house. Stanton helps her grandmother move everything back inside her house while the party travels onward. It is almost midnight. The party stops at Aura Theatre to hire an escort to get them back to their wagon. Harold Bruce agrees to help them. He used to be an adventurer. He puts on his dented breastplate, grabs his rusty sword and rides with them. Korgrok and Gemini spot some bear traps before they step in them. Harold scares off some giant spiders. Eventually they make it back to the wagon. Harold goes home. They search the site. The fire has gone out. There is one wand out of place and a dead chicken next to it. Party believes a knoll grabbed the wand and turned into a chicken. Party gets the idea to start labeling the wands by number, so they don't use the bad ones again. They camp and sleep the rest of the night without incident. Next day, they follow some knoll tracks. They see two sleeping knolls in the distance. Korgrok successfully sneaks up. Kuda graces both in their sleep. Korgrok brings both severed heads back to the wagon and displays them proudly. Anya shrieks. Korgrok we're adventurers. Jean oh my god, he's turning into an axe murderer. The party wanders some more before finding a crude watchtower built by Nolz atop a rocky outcropping. They are alerted when Korgrok takes an arrow to the chest. Two Nolz on the tower shoot arrows at the party. Torin uses a wand to shoot a Nol. D10,000 random result. The caster's eyes are replaced by pearls, but they can still see normally. No one notices in the middle of the battle. Gemnius uses a wand to shoot a Nol. D10,000 random result. The target starts flapping his arms like a hummingbird. One of the Nolz throws his bow away as his arms start flapping madly. Anya uses a wand to shoot a Nol. D10,000 random result. All objects not worn or being carried within 30 feet are disintegrated. It doesn't say explicitly if this means within 30 feet of the caster or the target, so we roll for it. The Nol tower suddenly disintegrates and the Nolz fall 30 feet to their death. Though dead, one Nol continues to flap his arms. Three more Nolz show up, probably attracted by the screaming. Philibert uses a wand to shoot a Nol. Seems to work fine. When Philibert dies, the sun will appear to weep tears of flame. Korgrok uses a wand to shoot a Nol. Seems to work fine. Apparently Korgrok can now cast a spell once per day with no save allowed. Nolz miss horribly. Jean kills a Nol with his crossbow. Philibert notices Jean has not been using any wands. Torin uses a wand to shoot a Nol. Target is covered in raw sewage. Nol is covered in shit. Gemnius uses a wand to shoot a Nol. D10,000 random result. Target's eyes glow with fire for one round. The players think the Nol is actually a wizard and the wand reveals magical talent. Korgrok quick, kill that Nol before he can cast a spell. Anya uses a wand to shoot a Nol. Seems to work fine. Another Nol dies. Meanwhile, in the city of Castlefort, King Rogbert is holding court. The Chancellor of Fardot walks in, bearing the financial forecasts and crop predictions for next year. Suddenly the throne room is completely filled with human skulls. Just completely crammed. Human skulls, floor to the ceiling. Philibert uses a wand to shoot a Nol. D10,000 random result. Target is knocked through a portal into the plane of elemental air. A Nol disappears forever into thin air. The battle is over. Korgrok is fairly injured. They do not have any magical healing. Anya suggests using a random wand on Korgrok and hopefully it will be a healing wand. The party begins to question the wisdom of taking a 12 year old on this adventure. Eventually someone suggests warping to big church for healing. They wisely pick up all of their barrels first. Someone waves a teleportation wand at the nearest squirrel. It explodes and the party is in the church of Pella again. Rather than explaining to the priest, Korgrok shouts I am injured. The priest runs into the street in fear, comes back with the town guard. Philibert I ain't going back to prison again. Philibert panic fires a wand at the town guard. All males within 60 yards are covered in blood. Everyone in church is now screaming in terror. Party can hear some people in the street screaming too. One guard throws down his spear and runs for it. Rolf another horse was female, 
so she is fine aside from everyone screaming and being teleported again. Korgrok knows attacking guards is bad and Philibert is bad for doing it. Korgrok uses a wand to shoot at Philibert. D10,000 random result. Seems to work fine. Though DN is laughing far too hard for it to be good. Nearest river is full of freshwater sharks. Gemnius uses a wand to shoot Philibert. Seems to work fine. Costa now runs at 3x speed when naked and unencumbered. Philibert is knocked unconscious. The guard takes them all into custody. Korgrok gets bandages on his chest wound and leeches on his buttocks to put his humors back into balance. The players are brought before the mayor of Big Church. Mayor Clark Clifton is furious. Mayor explains that they are progressive community and do not believe in the death penalty. They also do not have the facilities to keep someone magical jail. Mayor banishes Philibert Steel Fingers from Big Church forever. Says that if he ever comes back they will ship him to Castleford where they do hang prisoners. Party agrees this is way more lenient than they deserve. Mer charges all of them 10 silver pieces for the community disruption they've caused. Party quietly agrees and departs. Back to the river. Stanton Riveman is rather confused how the hell they got across without him seeing them. Is there another ferry? Do I gots competition? Philibert says they sunk the other ferry after they rode it. Stanton happily believes him. Stanton charges M double for the ferry ride this time. Turns out that the river is now full of sharks. Anya is bored again. Anya uses a wand to shoot at a shark. Seems to work fine. Next time caster enters a mine. It feels 50 degrees hotter to the caster than normal. Anya uses the same wand again. It will now be 100 degrees hotter. DM changes quietly changes the Null cave to an abandoned mine inhabited by Nulls in his notes. Philibert confronts Sean. Hey, you ain't been using any of these wands. You trying to cheat us? You gotta use two right now. Jean cringes, but complies. Jean shoots a wand at a shark. Seems to work fine. Nearest paladin believes he has lost his paladinhood. Jean shoots a second wand. Seems to work fine. Civil unrest begins in the nearest village and spreads throughout the kingdom. Anya grabs another wand and shoots another shark. D10,000 random result. The shark bites a fish, then immediately gets a bite taken out of it. This one seems to reflect damage. The party gets to Orathir. I ask them if they want to hire Harold Bruce to escort them to their wagon again. Korgrok only responds we're adventurers they get back to their wagon alone without any problem, but it is quite dark by the time they get there. They make camp again. Korgrok takes first watch. Natural 1 for perception. Roll for random encounter for temperate forest. 91. Korgrok wakes up with a dire tiger's fangs hovering over his skull. Korgrok pretty much knows he is dead. Korgrok aims a wand at the dire tiger's groin and prays for help. D10,000 random result. Caster appears to lose all muscle, skin sagging from his bones. Dire tiger is stung in the junk and his prey appears suddenly to melt. He roars and leaps back in surprise. Anya screams, climbs onto the wagon and shoots a wand at the tiger in fear. D10,000 random result. The dire tiger leaps for Anya. As soon as the first claw touches Anya, the dire tiger explodes into a cloud of fur and guts. Anya is soaked in tiger goo. Anya continues screaming. Korgrok gets up. The party starts screaming since it looks like Korgrok melted. Eventually the party figures out that Korgrok is okay. Suddenly all of the goo and fur and intestine sucks off of Anya and the wagon. The dire tiger reforms, completely bewildered but unharmed. Party is screaming again. The dire tiger runs off into the woods and never comes back. The party advances to level 2 commoners. They have seen some shit. In the morning, the party tracks the gnolls to an abandoned mine. Anya walks in, runs out because it is burning hot. Party eventually convinces her to walk back in again and she is fine. Narrowly avoid a pit trap inside, then encounter three more gnolls. One of the gnolls home instantly gets hot and cold running water, but no sink. One of the gnolls inherits a small fortune after he dies. One of the wands turns a gnoll into a juju zombie. One of the wands casts cure light wounds on the party. Anya uses one last one to attack a null. Costa does not believe that they are not undead. Anya now believes she is a vampire. Next round, Anya goes over to the juju zombie null and bites into its neck, drinking its blood. Korgrok Jesus Christ. Korgrok I mean Jesus Pella. We had to quit at this point since it was quite late. If we ever do play a game, it will be fun having to deal with the long term effects of the shark river, the skull king of Castleford, the new anti-paladin of Stumbleglen. The civil unrest soon to embroil the country, and a 12 year old who thinks she is a vampire. 
see these are the type of videos that I genuinely love doing because I just love the idea of like oh man I'm gonna do that you know the just concepts and ideas that food about that just be like oh that sounds fucking amazing I would love to do that myself and you know the best part is we've still got another few parts to go so definitely remember to subscribe and um, I can definitely tell you the story it stays on the same level if not it gets well i would say it gets worse it gets worse for the player characters involved but like that's all i'm gonna say uh, subscribe the next few parts will be out within the next couple of days if you enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed this this is honestly one of my favorite videos i've done in a wee while now i think this is this last one i really really got into was probably the fallout ones i fucking love the fallout ones and uh this one gives me the same feels, you know what I mean? So, look, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And, like, you know, look, I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy the next few parts to come. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services! It's time to stop!